Welcome to ProLab University. The class is now in session. In this session, we will reveal the power of creatine monohydrate. Creatine is an amino acid derived molecule that is produced naturally in the body, primarily in the liver. It is formed from the amino acids methionine, glycine, and arginine. Creatine is used inside the cells of the body to generate energy through the function of ATP. So, that brings us to a logical question, what is ATP? ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate, are high energy molecules that hold three phosphate molecules with powerful bonds. When a phosphate bond is broken, energy is released. The energy is used to help drive muscle contractions. This is why ATP is sometimes called the energy machines of muscles. The next question then is probably, how does creatine work relative to ATP? Creatine supplies the fuel that helps to drive the function of ATP. Creatine is stored in the muscle as phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine is a creatine bound to a phosphate. When a phosphate bond is broken from ATP, energy is released. The phosphocreatine donates its phosphate to replenish ATP, thereby keeping the energy machine running properly. Maybe the best way to demonstrate this process is through a simple animation. This is an ATP molecule. You can see the three phosphates holding on with high energy bonds. When the phosphate breaks loose, energy is released. And here's where the phosphocreatine comes into play as it shuttles its phosphate to keep the ATP machine running. Muscles contain a very short supply of available phosphocreatines. This somewhat limits short burst muscle power output. Supplemental creatine helps to saturate muscles with a greater supply of phosphocreatines. This helps to substantially increase the potential for burst power output for a longer period of time. This may allow for greater strength, extended power output, and the ability to squeeze out a few more reps. Creatine monohydrate may work in three basic ways. First, it may support prolonged burst power output for explosive movements like sprints and weightlifting. Next, it supports faster recovery between sets, which may allow for bouts of high-intensity training. Finally, it supports gains in new lean mass and strength, including beneficial cell volumization, which is increased volumes of fluids inside of cells. We didn't cut corners when searching for a source of premium creatine. We use CreaPure because it is the only creatine made in Germany. This creatine is world-renowned for its high quality and purity, which is due to the manufacturer's careful selection of raw materials and their technologically mature, patented system for synthesizing creatine. During the loading phase, take one rounded teaspoon four times per day for five days. After loading, you'll only need enough creatine to maintain your muscle supply. For daily creatine maintenance, take one rounded teaspoon two times daily. Creatine monohydrate may be dissolved in juice or water. However, consuming creatine monohydrate with juice may yield the best results. Loading is the process of saturating muscle cells with maximal levels of creatine. The initial loading process may take up to five days. After the loading phase, the maintenance doses help to top off creatine supplies that were depleted during intense bouts of exercise. This keeps the muscles loaded with creatine. Fruit juice, such as grape juice, contains rapidly absorbed sugars. When sugars enter the bloodstream, insulin is released. In turn, the insulin helps to shuttle the sugars and the creatine to waiting muscles. This may help to optimize creatine uptake into tissues. Additionally, the sugars in the fruit juice may serve to help restore lost glycogen stores after an intense workout. Thank you for attending this session of ProLab University. We hope you have enjoyed this program and have gained valuable information that you can apply towards achieving your fitness goal. For more ProLab University courses and detailed product information, be sure to visit us at www.prolab.com.